Victor Oladipo, man, what a player. He's actually like a player I respect, like a really good player. And you know, he's just a humble guy. And unfortunately, he has fallen into another injury. So an MRI has confirmed what the pace has feared. Victor Oladipo will miss the remainder of the season with a ruptured quad tendon in his right knee. So yeah, just taking him as a single case, I just wanted to you know, take this opportunity to enlighten everyone else about how this injury comes about and how it actually plays out. So quadriceps rupture, so it's exactly as the name suggests and it's basically a complete or incomplete rupture right across your quadriceps. Most commonly it occurs one to two centimeters above the superior pole of the patella, um, which is basically a fancy name for the top of the patella. If the tear occurs below the kneecap, then it's actually called a patella tendon rupture, and that's something else altogether. So the most common mechanism of injury is an abrupt, violent, eccentric contraction in your quads. And I'll pull up Victor's video for you to watch, but as you can see here, his right knee goes into a very flexed position, and in that same position, that is when your quadriceps are most lengthened and in that most eccentric position. Jumper by Victor, no good, and Ibaka there for the rebound. Length of the floor pass, Siakam. They call it, they're going to say he took his legs out, but Victor's, Victor's hurt. Oh, I'm looking at his kneecap. You can see it. Yeah, you, you, you can see it. Yeah. Yeah, they're calling the doctor out. And generally, if you do tear your quads, you'll have specific clinical findings, such as acute pain, impaired knee extension because your whole quad tendon has ruptured, and a super patella gap, which is basically when your whole quadricep muscles shrink upwards, like any biceps tendon rupture or calf tendon, Achilles tendon rupture, your whole muscle bulk goes upwards towards its origin or insertion point, depending on where it tears. And so in this case, your quads will go upwards your femur, leaving the distal end of your femur completely void of any anterior muscle. And in such an acute case, like Victor's, walking on the spot would also be impossible because you can't extend your knee and you're probably limited by pain. But at the same time, for any physios, it's not just about ruling in what it can be, but it's also about what things can we rule out just by looking at the mechanism of injury. So generally we can rule out ACL meniscal tears, which are pretty big injuries in themselves. Yeah, no, this is pretty bad as well. Like, I'm, not, I'm, I'm gonna give it to you, Victor. You, you... But what I'm trying to say is that ACL meniscal tears usually happen with a flexion and rotational force. So flexion to 10 to 30 degrees and then tibial rotation. And this is not the case this doesn't seem to be the case, uh, just by viewing the playback. He's trying to get back. Uh, he he goes down, and and Siakam had absolutely nothing to right. do with it. You take a look here. It's the right leg. He plants it, and you can see it just gives right there. And he goes down. You can see he's trying to protect himself, but he knew right away. And what you'll see next, he grabs the right area, right leg because he knew he was in trouble. Now he of course, if I did have to thoroughly check, you know, I'd have to be there in the moment to do special tests. Now, could it be some sort of patella subluxation? And generally not, because patella subluxations are usually traumatic, so it involves collide, colliding hard with another player. Otherwise, a knee dislocation can also happen if you flex your knee and then you rotate it very quickly or abruptly. That could potentially lead to a medial or lateral dislocation, but if Victor were to have a dislocation, usually acute first-line protocol would be to try and reduce the kneecap using a very gentle extension maneuver. And that usually 
that sometimes can pop your kneecap back into place. When he goes down, Chris, I heard him scream. Yeah. I mean, I, I, it was clear. I, I heard I, just as he screamed out loud. So I knew, but you can see he's already reacted to it because he knows that there's something that is not. Now, aside from medial and lateral dislocations, you can also have the patella sublux superiorly. So that is the kneecap dislocating up your knee. So instead, uh, like pretending this is my kneecap, instead of going from the side, it goes up. And in this rare instance, due to pure hyperextension force or hyperextension force with a superior um, traumatic impact, it can actually push your kneecap upwards out of the trochlear groove and that's when you know you dislocate upwards but that in itself is also a very very rare injury and it only happens to people who are actually born with high kneecaps or patella alta. Now assuming Victor got a complete rupture evidence leans towards getting surgery ASAP because you want to revive that extensive mechanism I mean you want to walk and stuff right and you also want to reduce the extent of muscle wasting while you're not doing anything because the more you wait the more your muscles are going to atrophy and it's just going to get weaker and weaker and weaker and for Victor who plays at you know at athletic level even for recreational players or you know if you do it just at home or anything you know get the surgery done because like you want to walk right please please tell me you want to walk so while complete quadricep ruptures get the surgery incomplete quadricep ruptures can i believe be treated conservatively and traditionally what they do if you do opt for the surgery in a complete rupture tear is that they drill osteotunnels through your knee to pass sutures and then they reconnect your quadriceps to your patella and then finally tie it all down at the bottom of your patella. And you know, even with surgery, it's not guaranteeing that you come back to 100% of what you started off with. Even with ACL meniscal surgeries, there might be some loss of extension, pain in at the very end ranges of flexion and you know that that earlier onset of osteoarthritis and in this surgery many patients have reported a loss of flexion range as well as being unable to exert as much force through their quads so yeah that wraps up the video again short video just you know trying to be straight to the point now um again it sucks to see professional athletes you know go down like this with such a big injury. I'm sure Victor will be back um, next year but it does take a lot of rehab work and a lot of determination from him to actually come back. Um, but you know it's all G, we're we all gonna watch him come back. Um, for those who you know play sport recreationally just take care of your knees. Alright, laters. Received was a torn right quad. Basically, I detached the muscle in the front of my leg from the bone of my kneecap. Truth be told, what he said just there sums up the entire video.